G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us this yes. week. Big results in VYC. Results. Can you explain why on earth? Yep. Yeah. We're in, and I know Casey don't play in this competition. No. Mind you, they might do in the future. Yeah. Big yeah. VYC. Man. Big VYC. Yeah. Um, Casey Cavs this week, like a lot of great clubs do yeah. in the Big V, um, they've got a, a round where they're raising money for uh, breast cancer. Ball Awareness breast cancer. research. Balling for breast cancer. Well done, Cavs. Triple yeah. header. A triple header Saturday night. If you're not doing anything in VYC men or women, get yeah. down to Casey. Do something. Can I just send a special plug out to uh, Deborah Spinks? Spinksy. Yep. Uh, I, I refer to her as Spinksy. Yep. Um, down there at Casey. Mm -hmm. She's battling breast cancer herself, and we wish her all the very best in her Absolutely. fight. Yep. We're with you 100% of the way, Spinksy. She's gone out and she's got pink uniforms for the teams down there to wear this week. Donation, to donation herself Great. to raise money for breast cancer awareness. Good on you, Spinksy. Yep. Yep. And well done to the Casey Cavs. We wish you all the Absolutely. best. They've got a triple header Saturday night from 4.30 or something like that on a Saturday afternoon. Um, Huge night. Yeah, and to all the clubs that, that have uh, pink rounds, and there's plenty of them. And even some of the other charities, you know, Beyond Blue, well Cancer, everything, that's great. Great to see the community get behind a lot of these yeah, great causes. VYC women, take it away. Oh, what a game to start um, the round. Seriously, Knox 46 lost to the defending champion Sandra Hill. Well done, Sabres. Sabres. Up. Well, well done, well done Sabres. Sabres. Absolutely. A lot of people thought the Sabres would drop away this year. They haven't. They've obviously got some no great games coming through in their no kids. Gazby, no, Gazby. No. Who went Perret. to Campbell? Um, Carol. Just, just, just Carol. Carol. Just Carol. Yeah. Um, so, the best a 16 to 7 second quarter ultimately proved to be the difference. Scrap. It's scrap. scrap. No Raider had over 8 points, no Saber over 9. <laughs> Great win for Sandra Hand, though. Scrap without there. Yeah. Great win. Uh, yeah, uh, look, I, I rate the Sabres. I rate them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a huge win. Statement win. I'll tell you what was a good win on the weekend. Yeah. Eltham 62 yeah. defeated yeah. Bendigo 56. My team. Who? The Wildcats. Oh, well, you can read it out then. Eltham could win away. against the informed Bendigo team. Um, Shane McInerney, 19 points. Celeste Fletcher, 16 and 7. Uh, Caitlin McLaughlin had 15 and 15. Uh, yeah. Eltham are your bona fide team. You love them. Just name me five plays in there. You I don't, they, don't, they know I don't need no, to. No, no, just name oh, me five plays. Well, we've we've already given you two. I'll tell you what, I reckon um, Shane McInerney plays there and Celeste I'm Fletcher plays there. We've already given you two. I'm with Maddie Hughes and the girls. They yes. know that I love them and that's all we need to go into. So you've got no idea. No. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Kill size 52. Don't say you do, you don't. you got no idea. <laughs> Kill size 52 went down to Ballarat 63. Hey, yeah. Correct. Oh. Get on the rat. Right wing here. I've been talking about it. They're up on the rat. Yep, they the right. yep, they're left. Yeah. Cobra's led by three at the half. Yeah. And we're going to write for Ballarat 39 to 24 second half. Storm time. Lydia Brooks. Oh, mate. Firming. I'm loving it. Firming. Brooksy. It's going to be a bit. Yep. Firming. Yeah. I agree. I'm with you. That's 21 and seven. She's just a consistent Brooksy performer. Brooksy has been a gun. Mm. Yeah. She's playing well. Yeah, she, her running mate, Claire Costable, is oh, not bad. Very yeah. good player. 16 well. points. Uh, Taylor Black, 14 and seven. Maybe her best game of the season. For yeah, no, Blackie. Yep. TB. Well done. Coming together. JBG out injured. Let's go. She's out injured at the moment. Didn't play in this game too bad, or I think she's carrying a knee injury. Mm -hmm. And from what I hear, at least a couple. So okay. whether she's back this week or the week okay. after, but yep. best of luck. She needs to get it back out there. Danny Nong 86 have defeated Geelong 49. It was a 23 to 6 start. Oh, for the Geelong Rangers. finally lost a game. Yeah, and a 20 to 10 finish. Cool. Oh, on the Battle of the Boards, the Rangers out rebounded Geelong 63 to 33. Huge <laughs> difference there. <laughs> Olivia Latrell. 12 points and 7 assists. Sarah Slater, 13 and 13. Emily Ryder, 14 and 8. Where, where, where's the corker? Inchie. Didn't play. <laughs> For the Supercats, Lauren Bellagante, 14 did. points. Uh, yes, a uh, very good win, Daniel. Uh, the Rat. Again. Again. Ballarat, 87, defeated Waverley, 53. Waverley, oh. Waverley have been a push over this. No, they are about 5 and 5 at the moment. Oh, I don't even know what Waverley are doing half the time. They're I don't really know who's in and out. Yeah, yeah. 34 point win to the Rat. Another good weekend for them. Uh, they shot at 45%. Falcon shot at 26%. Only had 8 players, so they probably had a few yeah. missing. Um, Lydia Brooks, have we mentioned her this show? Might have. Brooksy, Just LB, had 22 and 13 on the weekend. Molly Matthews had 17. Claire Blower had 16 and 11. Mel Ioannidis, 15 points. Zali Raymond had 12 and 12 yep. for Waverley. Get on the rat. Mm. Yep. I've, I've said it a few times. Get Ooh, on the rat. 8 and 3, 1, 4 and 12. 
How's Melbourne's uh, youth program going? Not, not all that well. Not the, the women. women. The women, women are. Right. The men are fine. Uh, the women go down to Bendigo, who played the night before and lost that uh, bounce back. Uh, 21 point win. Molly Greetham, 16 and 14. Elise Strawn, 18 points. Strawny, Strawny. Yeah, well, we thought it was Strack in all last season. It took me nearly a whole <laughs> season to tell you that her name was Strawn. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Melbourne. Jessica Peterson at 12. Phoebe Gaze, 10 points, 11 boards, 4 blocks as well, I think. Did she? Uh, yeah. She, yeah. Is she tall? Scrapped it. Oh, they're all man. They're all man. She's reasonably tall. tall. She's tall. Tall. Perry Calcat had a 9 and 11. Uh, had DV go at home. Mm. Easy win, 53 to Hume mm. City, 36. It's a if, real pretty uh, low score. Broncos held 16 points in the first three quarters. Only shot at 20. They scored 20 eight. points in the last quarter. If they who didn't do that. that? Who Hume City scored 20 in the last yeah. quarter. Yeah. So they had 16 points. Oh, yeah. they did to a test that there. Broncos held to 16 Shannon's points. Shannon's. Who wrote it? Oh. You want to talk to the guy that writes it? Guys, go Shannon's on. last name, anyway. <laughs> Help me out here. Duff, Duffy. Duffy. Duffy, 13 and 7. Carolyn Hardiman, 15 and 15. 36 points. It's not Plays great. up and down. Done. Good Carolyn Hardiman. Yes. Diamond Valley. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and Foxy's girls. Yeah, did. Oh, oh, very good, good, Foxy. Flow. Um, yeah. 21 and 4 last quarter to get up, knock off the Hawks <laughs> by 10. In. Uh, they Ringwood, were good too. Well, yeah, they went to war in the last quarter. Well, they had three quarters to warm up. Yeah, what even? Oh, look. I don't know. One of 13 from the field, one of six from the foul line. Daniel Calvisi had 15 for the Boomers. Sam Moody, 10.16 points. And she was in the low 12 and 7. 12 and 7. It's a yeah. really good move. Zucolo, not Zucolo. Uh, Sam was in a very good mood after that game, too, for obvious reasons. Absolutely. Well done, Foxy. That's a good win, mate. Really good win. Good. Frankston, 62, went down to the inconsistent Nunna Wadding. No, they needed this. Uh, they're not inconsistent. They, they've lost about four or five in a row. Not a Wadding. They like it. They needed this win, and they did. They got up. Uh, Blues won the rebounds, 49 to 28. They had nine more shots wow. in the game as well, so they did dominate. Yep. Uh, the, the, sorry, the Blues yeah, dominated the boards. Yeah. Uh, Izzy Dawson, 19 points. Meg Withers had 13 and nine for the Spectres. Courtney Wilkins, 17 and 11. Steph Reed, Great. Steph, 17 points, Love seven it. rebounds, four assists, four steals. With your words of encouragement each week, I'm sure she's uh, trying to pump her up. Yeah. Steph Reed. Yep. She's yep. having a good one. She's responding. Can you get the latest for us? I wouldn't know. Sure. Oh, no dramas. Knock seven and two. <laughs> Sandringham seven and two. Bulleen six and four. Nutterwadding five and six. Frankston four and six. Diamond Valley four and six. Geelong two and eight. Hume City one and nine. The Watson Conference ladder. Danny Nong leading the way nine and two. Ballarat eight and three, having won their last four. Yeah, right. Ringwood seven right. and three. Bendigo six and three. Waverley five and five. Kilsyth five and six. Eltham four and six. It's tight. Jeez. Melbourne zero and nine. We're going to be in for a cracking second half of the season. I well. reckon Melbourne may struggle to make the top four from there. Yeah. Oh, I'm just putting Take it out there. Round eight, I'm putting it out there. Here we oh, go. Not about Danny on. I think Danny. Yeah, you've done your tips. Oh, I think Danny. Danny, no man. Yeah. Sorry, another one, and you won. You got back on the winners list. I think Danny. Back you go. The rat and Ringwood. Oh no, rat. I'm going the rat. Rat. I'm yeah, sticking with the rat for me too. Yep. yep. Eltham and Knox. Knox. Knox to bounce back over Eltham. Yeah. Dead end. Uh, did you, did you, you doesn't mean I have to tip him every week. That's Elf, yeah, you know, I every just, play down there that's every play for Every play, play very, very, very well. You've gone against them. Knowledge. Gone against them? Yeah. Oh, what have you done with your red shirt? It's a bloody car rag now, is it? Checking your oil with the red Elf and Knox. I only bring it out every second week, mate. Come on. Uh, Elf and Knox, Knox. They'll bounce back. No, they, they have to bounce back. Some yeah. of us have got comments. DV and Sandringham, this would be a good one, but I think Sandy will. It won't be a good one. It won't be a good one. It won't be a good one. Dave aren't very good. Can't try and build it up. Sandringham will win this. Seriously. I think it'll be a good game though. Okay, Sandringham. Yeah, I think Sandringham. What? On what evidence? Sandringham. Sandringham four and six, and Sandringham just beat Knox. Sandringham will win. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sunday. Uh, Bendigo Waverley. Bendigo. Bendigo. I wonder how many coaches. Uh, listen to the crap that we spew out and use that. We 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 hear stories that coaches use the absolute. Look what they shit. say about us. <laughs> Come on, I they use it to motivate. Yeah, and I've, got, I've got to be serious. If you need to use the rubbish that spills out of our mouths to motivate your team, go there's something it. wrong. No, go for it. Uh, yeah, no, it's go for it. Right. Danny Frankston. Uh, what happened to Benny Go Wait? Oh, Benny Go. Wake up, Danny and I. A Danny and I over Frankston. Frankston. Danny Melbourne Ballarat. Go the right Ballarat. All right. How much? Oh, 30. 27. 30, 30. Uh, Pulling him City. Uh, Foxy's girls. Oh, yeah. I'm going Foxy's girls. Very happy on the Yep. Sandringham kills us. Sandringham. Geelong Elton. Hang on. So, 
You're tipping <laughs> Diamond Valley to beat no, Sandy. No, you didn't tip. I did not tip oh, Diamond Valley. You just reckon it'd be a good game. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, did you? I can't yeah, wait until it is Saturday night. I'm Geelong Elf. Geelong Elf. I'm Elfham. never tipping Geelong again. Elf and Louis. Elf and Louis. VYC men bullying 86. Defeated Frankston 61. Cal, you saw a bit of this game? Oh, a little bit. Uh, a little I bit. saw a fair bit of this game. Did you? Yeah, about three yeah. quarters. Um, uh, Bulleen shot the light yeah. out. Just could not miss. They were up by, oh, there you go, 51 to 23 at half time. Yep. Curtis. Game was over. They were very good, Bulleen. They got some big stuff. up. Bad. Hey, uh, Frankston second on the ladder. Yeah. It was an upset win. Bulleen's got some big news on the horizon, by the way. Uh, James <laughs> yeah. Weston in this game, 34 points and six triples, was sensational. Jordan Little, 19 points, 14 rebounds. Good kid. Yep. Jesse Hockey had 17 points for Frankston. A pretty good weekend, by the way. Um, Bulleen has a player about to join them. Yeah, he's kind this of player, he's pretty good. This player was a starting five player for the championship winning team in state champ men last Matchbox season. Matchbox 20. Not V, no, the Matchbox 20, yeah, it's spot on. Not VYC men last season. State, state champ. State champ men. Stefan Osborne's about to come back from college yep. and he's going to be playing with bullying VYC men. Okay, so at the moment. Shut the gate. So at the moment, they're <laughs> sitting. The gate, what, what are they? Sitting five and five, they're in fourth spot. They'll make the finals. Yeah. He's going to be a matchbox there. He is going 30. to be a matchbox there. It's going to be great. And when I say shut the gate, they won't be Kilsyth, but they're going to be right up there every week. Yeah. yeah, get around a very good yeah, game. Very serious. Game. Uh, arguably, and not it's not even an argument. The biggest upset in VYC men this season. Go Massive. On. Sherbrooke Suns ninety <laughs> defeat Knox full strength outside of Simon Green who hasn't played for a number of weeks anyway. No love loss. No love loss. Seventy eight. Great win. Great Suns. win. Great. Fantastic. And win. second win of the look season. Look no further. Second win of the season. Uh, no, second, yeah. It was Sherbrooke's second win second of the season win. against the top team. Yeah. This does all sorts of things for a team. These sorts of wins. Kirk Smith. Absolutely destroyed Knox and made him look very, very poor. 34 points, 8 triples. From 8 10 from 10. 10. 8 from 10. 80 now, I know you guys won't say it because you're politically correct. Right? And 6 steals. And 6 steals. He had a great game. I can come out and say it because I walk out of the office and I don't get the phone call. <laughs> yeah, right. His mobile number. <laughs> Kirk <laughs> Smith. Kirk Smith. Hmm. Did he used to be around the Knox traps? Oh, domestically, I think. Yeah. Yep. How did Knox not get this kid? Oh, I'm just asking. Oh, well, I think um, I actually think he may have played some juniors at Sandy before. Yeah. He oh, did he? Sure, probably. Yeah. Oh, so he didn't yeah. play rep for Knox. No. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All this right. next guy did. Don John Truman. Where seventeen. Did go? Seventeen points. Seventeen boards. I'm so happy for John. Josh Allen. Nineteen. He's been such a strong rebounder for a while now, but I think his confidence is really coming out. For him to score seventeen and seventeen, you know, against, against his the old team junior that's huge. club. Yeah. Honestly, to me, and don't Kirk Smith's thirty-four points. That's how Kirk plays. But for me, Jonathan Truman's a story out of this game. Impressive. Great job. Really well done, mate. Really yep. uh, Leaf Cope, David Tamat, and Aaron Monday. Rashid had 14 points each for Knox. Sherbrooke. Josh Down 19. Uh, Josh Down 19. Well done, yeah. Sons. After so the Kirk well Smith made the blue carpet? Uh, did you Kirk get tweeted by... Kirk Smith made the blue carpet. My yeah, already did. I don't know. Hey, here's Robbie Roberts going. I, I, he, tweet, he I tweeted him and, went and said, well done. Well, he told yeah. us last week he was getting ripped off because he was losing all these clothes. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling this week, Rob? <laughs> pretty, pretty good, I reckon. Pretty, pretty good. good. Uh, Eltham 50 went down to kill size 63. Uh, Jeffers. <laughs> now, we said no chance of this game, and it was no chance. They were never going to win this game. A bloody good effort to I hold say, kill size to 63. Themselves, yeah. down by 13. I, I walked past Jeffers before my game, walked past him and said, oh, nice job on Saturday. He's like, Great I'm job. very happy, mate. Great yeah, yeah, job. And you should be. Um, uh, but Cobras, you, you're never going to beat them. Kieran Murphy 14 and 12. <laughs> He just nice cold, right? Julian yeah. Lipinski, 12 and 7 for Eltham, but well done, Wildcats. Julian Lipinski's a good player. Ringwood had a good win. Jeez. Ringwood, 76, defeated Sandringham, 72. Mark Berestecki, great game. 14 points, yeah. 10 boards, and 3 blocks. Max Sutton's been a good player. Uh, 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 sorry? Don't call him Max. Maxwell Sutton. It's Max Sorry. What's his name? Maxwell, Maxwell, Maxwell Sutton. Sutton. 14 points, 7 points. You, uh, you know Max Cody in Youth League. It's Max Maxim Maxim Maximilian. Yeah. Oh, is it Maximilian Cody? Maxim I'm calling him Maximilian <laughs> Cody. <laughs> Nathan <laughs> Rollins, 12 and 9. Um, Matt Lee had a great game. Yeah. Saves 23 and 14. I know people from both sides that were this game. Everyone said, by all accounts, it was a really good game. Mm. Yeah, uh, there is Decky. I knew he was going to be. I knew he was going to come out big here. Cracking game, and uh, the Hawks get up by four. Big win for Ringwood. Um, just edge out the same as here. Oh, absolutely. Right. Hey, you, you're just repeating everything we've just said. Yeah, no, it needs to be reiterated. Why? 
Well, I think free, Ringwood need to win, need to make they the finals. They, they, they really they needed this win, win. desperately, and, uh, and they edge out a gallant. Yeah. Side. Frankston 86 defeated Diamond Valley 73. The Blues bounced back from a poor yeah. showing on Saturday night. A 29 to 10 last quarter by the Blues. Poor finish by Diamond Valley. They shot at three of 16. Not going to get the job done. No, Jesse Hockey the last quarter choked. Right? Jesse Hockey. Whew. Yeah, great. 13 Just points, blue eight boards, like. three trays. Great game. <laughs> uh, what's this? A, a TKF. Uh, <laughs> quite a quad. Quite a quad. Can we shorten it? Yeah, TK. TK did alright. 17.63 yeah. points. 5 steals, that's right. Chloe Woodfull, 20 points. James Penny, 14 points. Great bounce back, Frankston, in all seriousness. <laughs> yeah, good. DV, free fall. Absolute free fall. 4 and 0 to start. That was their last 5? 4. Last 4. Last 4. 4 and 0 to start, but like, geez, what a, what an amazing story considering they lost with it. A bunch of players, coach, and now they've just gone. Coach and coach. Yeah. Just get on. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. 4 and 0. Yeah, 4 and 0. Yeah. Four and oh, oh, yeah. Danny Long, 86 to Fridge, Geelong, 58. 27 to 10, start by the Rangers, 23 to 10 last quarter. Uh, okay. Jack Saunders, 24 points, 4 triples. Kane Ewan, 16 points, 11 rebounds. That's for Danny Long, of course. Joel McFall, 16 to 7 for Geelong. Not much to say there. Move on. Ballarat 61 went down predictably to the Falcons 89 uh, vintage uh, offensive performance by Waverley. 47 to 28 second half by the Falcons ensured the win. Minus shot at just 22%. Bounce. Den Kwani 17 points and 20 boards. Gear, gears. <laughs> Dow. Dow yeah. had 18 7. Matt McCarthy 16. Brady Neal had 20 points, 14 boards and 3 blocks for the Miners. And Sean Massey 18 points. Great win Waverley. Little story. Yep. Not, nothing to do with this game, but certainly do with Waverley Youth League. Ding Ding, remember Ding Ding? Yes, yes. Has just signed, apparently, with Baylor Bears. Really? Yep. Oh, Division, Texas. Is Division 1 as a junior. He's uh, played this couple of seasons. He's now transferred to Baylor and so That's on. exciting. Well done. Do you know, I went to Baylor University last year. It's a legit program. It's a legit program. And they're called the Baylor Bears. Yeah. Do you know that they've actually got the best uniform in the league? It's got nothing to do with what I'm about to say. Oh, well, so, they, they were quite Yeah, just shut, shut up. Just shut up. Uh, the Bale of Bears. Hey, you're not their green, are they? Who is it? The green. Yeah, uh, the Bale of Bears. Stop it. Shut up. <laughs> the Bale of Bears, because their mascot is a, a bear. brown bear. Oh, what? Wow. Really? <laughs> Is there, his name's Bayford. Is, there, real? is there any chance he's going to let me finish this no, story? It's a what? bear. They actually have. Jeez. <laughs> they actually have two of them yeah. on campus. That's what I'm trying to say. They've got well, they two. Just walk bre- around, they around. They walk around with two. <laughs> 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 they walk around, they take them for a walk around the campus, they've got two brown bears. Actual bears. Actual bears. On uh, I saw them with my awesome. own eyes last uh, year. Do they keep them in cages? Big, massive, massive cages. Okay, like, it's a it's a palace. Yeah. Oh, the palace. Hotel Jenny. The palace. It's, it's, it's <laughs> a tattoo? Jenny Ma. What's that? Division 2. Oh, no, no, she's... she's She'll try and Yeah, no, she's an animal, <laughs> animal, animal liberation. Um, they've got two bears there. Seriously, I went to... That's amazing. Yeah, no, it is good. Yeah. What were they named? So, great job, Who Dingo. cares? But it took us 73 minutes to get that What took you so long? Melbourne 84, lost to none of what uh, Hang on, go back a step. I just want to talk about Waverley for a minute. Yeah. Uh, no, this is a serious conversation. Well, you two guys are That's cracking so on. Um, Waverley last week at the Basketball Victoria Awards, one of the most yeah. inclusive, most inclusive program yep. for their Sudanese program, which is yep. sensational. Can I just say to Waverley Basketball Club because I want to talk seriously, and you two are just trying to blow me over and bloody get on with it. <laughs> blow you over. <laughs> can, I just, <laughs> can I just say to Waverley Basketball Club yeah. and Mike Bullock and the team, yeah. thumbs up. Great job. Great and award Mike's last week. to do with that. And it's fantastic. Snaps to everyone at the club. And they've got. Fanta- what did you just say? Mike's had a lot to do with that. No, what to everyone at the club? Snaps. Snaps to everyone? Yeah. No, I didn't, didn't say that. You just said that. snaps yeah, to everyone. What the hell is that? Yeah, did. <laughs> Why don't you just say well done? What does snaps mean? I don't know, but he did it. That's snaps to everyone at the club. <laughs> is that like everyone gets a drink of snaps or <laughs> glasses all around? We're going to have Mate, a shot We're wasting or... a lot of time here. Yeah. I'm being serious. Well done to Waverley. Melbourne 84 lost to Nunna Wadding at 88. Great job, Waverley. Um, but Melbourne led by a point at three quarters time. Spectre shot 13 and 14 from the foul line last oh, quarter. Hey, nice hey, in there, mate. Hey, hey, snaps to the Spectre. <laughs> 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 snaps. I'm never going to lip that down, hey, am I? How's this? Costa Hronopoulos. Oh, snaps to Can you say that again? Costa Hronopoulos yeah. had 31 points and an amazing clip. It was second game of the season. He was um, 2012 MVP of the BVDL. Yes. Um, four trays. Tom Chambers, Cuz, 24 and 10. Ah, oh, snaps. 
Uh, Hawthorne 50 <laughs> went down to Killside 75. Cobras ensured a big win with a 26 to 10 last quarter. Adrian Tomata had 18 points. Luke, Tomato. Luke Moon. <laughs> Uh, had 12 points here, right here, move on. Daniel Monda Houston had 11 and 9 yeah. for Hawthorne. <laughs> Kilsyth just, uh, they just keep on. Oh, Hawthorne man. stuck in for three quarters. Oh, well done. Yeah, Lost by 25. Kilsyth. <laughs> hey, I'm guess not what, coming back. Guess, <laughs> guess what time it is in the show? Have a guess. Oh. Time to do the ladders with Nathan Silver. <laughs> Go. Right. Knox 8 2, Nutter Wadding 7 and 3, Melbourne 6 and 3, Eltham 6 and 5, Ringwood 5 and 5, Dandenong 4 and 5, Sherbrooke 2 and 8. Ballarat, Zip and 10. The sure, Watson, best win of the week. Best win yeah, of no, the week. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Watson later, Kilsyth 10 and Zip. Streaking ahead, Frankston 6 and 3, Hawthorne 7 and 4, Boleyn 5 and 5, Diamond Valley 4 and 4, having lost their last yeah. four. Waverley is beginning to move 5 and 6, Sandringham 2 and 8, Geelong 2 and 8. Uh, question without notice, will Kilsyth lose a game this season? Um, oh, no, actually, you said they beat everyone by 30 last week, didn't you? You said they beat everyone by 30? Well, they, no, so. no, you said 30 last week. Yeah, they beat yeah. Hawthorne by 25. <laughs> I, I, um, I can't see them losing anyone. They beat, kill, they beat Hawthorne by 13. Yeah, because but I don't, your 30 point theory. I don't think, you know? You've asked me if they'll drop a game, I don't think they will. So, so they, no, Melbourne, Geelong, Melbourne. Melbourne. Yes. Uh, Sherbrooke, Ballarat. Sherbrooke, remember the Sun? It's a bit of confidence up there. Because if you wouldn't, oh. Ballarat, no one's here. Yeah, you're right. Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. but out there on a lead. Oh, <laughs> you are oh. way out there. This oh, week. oh, big two. I'm not <laughs> enjoying myself. I'm really not. Sherbrooke, not a, not a one of y'all. Ah, uh, Jeffers. I'm going Jeffers to him. No, uh, one no, I'm going. Hey, Eltham, we're very no, good no, last week Eltham against. Good I'm going on uh, against uh, yeah, home, the Spectres. Sunday. <coughs> Frankston, Hawthorne. 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 I'm going. Franger to win at home. Franger to win at home. Ballarat, Ringwood. Ringwood. Are you sure you're not going to go Ballarat? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> uh, Ringwood to win. Waverley, Sandringham. Sandringham respectable last week. They were. Very they good. Were. This this is a big one. I don't think I beat Waverley. This is a big one. I think Waverley will edge him out as Waverley will see some players coming back from college. Oh, this week? Soon. Uh, Waverley to win for it's me. It's on the horizon. Waverley to win. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the grand final rematch yeah, from last season? That's a big difference to last year. Like, Let's calm down a bit. Yes, yeah, the question is. I asked was, is it the grand final rematch? Yes. Yes, it is. But if you're hinting that that means anything this year... I was year, not hinting good. anything other because than a kill side win. will win this by... Yeah, this, is a, this might be a cheeky good game, actually. Knox versus Melbourne. I think Knox. I think the Raiders will show you the good team they are and bounce back. Matt, I always lost to Sherbrooke. Uh, it'd, it'd be very close. Be a good game, be very but close. I think Knox will bounce back. I'm going to go to Melbourne. I can't, oh, don't blame me for that. Danny Knox. Danny Knox. Danny Knox. This, this is, is another good game. Yeah, this is probably going to be another one. Yeah, none of for me. Though Danny, I'm going Danny Dan, you know. Yeah, another one. Danny, I'm going to have the night off for him. Uh, Bulleen Sherbrooke. Is Stefan Osmond Bulleen to win? Matchbox 30. Bulleen to win. Bulleen. Matchbox 40. Bulleen to win. Matchbox 50. Just keep racking. There we go. Bulleen That's win. a wrap. BYC men, BYC women. Uh, Cavs. Cavs. Kids, if you're not doing anything. Uh, get down to Casey on Saturday night. Born for breast cancer. Yeah, great, great job, Casey. Well done. Love it. And also to the mums. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day for this week. See you next week on Big V TV.